With over 60 racers to choose from in Disney Speedstorm, it can be hard to choose who to unlock, level, and play. So with all of these racers, why would you play Captain Hector Barbosa? Hector Barbosa joined Speedstorm as a brawler. Using his aggressive skills and dashing into other racers, you'll gain a large amount of boost meter. Use this to quickly climb through the race while stunning those in your way. Hector Barbosa has the following skills. Shot, Bomb, Rush, Shield, and his own unique skill, The Curse. As he levels up, he'll gain additional levels to the Shot and Bomb skills. Barbosa is the first racer in the game to have a unique with a passive skill during the entire race. Once Barbosa reaches level 20, the curse starts to affect him, making him invincible during the race, but reducing his top speed. The curse can be removed by hitting players with his unique skill. When the curse is uncharged, skeleton hands reach out of the ground ahead of him, heavily slowing any racer they touch. At the moment, Hector can use his offensive skills to damage these hands as well to gain boost meter. Charging the curse makes the skeleton hands appear in a circle around Barbosa instead, slowing nearby racers. When the curse is applied to another racer, Barbosa temporarily loses his curse, removing his invincibility, restoring his true top speed, and providing a massive amount of boost meter. But beware, the curse will only leave Hector for a short time before it returns. Captain Barbosa has high top speed, acceleration, boost, and combat stats, with below average handling. This puts Barbosa in a great position to handle the majority of the racers in the game, even when he's cursed. His stats having some variability with the curse can be utilized on different map types, such as being able to take tighter turns or utilizing straight stretches better than other racers in his weight class. When looking at his crew, as always, we want to use anything that helps out our top speed, as top speed is king. As always, we're going to start with his epic crew, Karina Barbosa, to provide that 4-10% stat-wide buff and this gives Hector the starting shot skill. As with other pirates we've covered, we'll want to first use the rare crew that increases his top speed. So we'll bring James Norrington, Captain Salfung, and Theodore Groves on board. Out of these, only Captain Salfung is going to provide us with a bonus to the rush skill, while the other two are only here for their stat buffs. Alongside top speed, we'll be getting a spread of bonuses between handling, boost, acceleration, and combat stats. If you don't have access to the rare crew, you can use either Lord Cutler Beckett or Ian Mercer for the top speed bonus, but you should replace these once you can. Pros Barbosa is invincible for almost the entire race. He's also the fastest possible racer once his curse is removed, and he has one of the most highly offensive kits in the game. Cons Barbosa can struggle in small lobbies because his unique does benefit more when there are more players. So due to this, if you are in smaller lobbies, it is going to come down to just his raw stats with the invincibility on and the lower top speed. As we go through covering each of the racers, we'll be adding them to this tier list. Hector Barbosa brings along his pirate curse and becomes one of the most unique racers we've seen yet. From being invulnerable for most of the race or becoming the fastest possible racer in the game, Barbosa is a force to be reckoned with, whether you love him or you hate him. Add in that the shield skill will almost exclusively be used as a red shield, this makes him the most offensive racer in the game, especially with the shot and bomb skills leveling up with him. The only true weakness Barbosa has is the curse slowing him down, so unless he's able to remove it a few times during the race, he may not be able to pass the best of the meta, however his potential is through the roof and being able to ignore the majority of hazards and skills cannot be ignored. With that said, Barbosa finds himself as an impressive contender landing him in the S tier. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Uh, make sure you give that a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not already following. And uh, check me out sometime on Twitch. I stream my ranked runs quite often on there. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time on Why Would You Play?